Lucas Adaro DCI boss called George Kenoti. George Kenoti was behind the whole of this case, was behind the arrest. We tried to tell him both directly and on social media and even on your media platforms that this arrest was misguided, this arrest was not driven by evidence but by emotion and by a, 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 a rush of wanting to be on the headlines and to control a story that never existed. Today the court has affirmed what you have said that for the last six years George Kinoti put an innocent person on the dock knowing very well there was no evidence that put Jackie on the scene, that put Jackie on concealing any evidence and the court has confirmed all that. So we urge that in the future those who are guys who are given the power to investigate investigate and get the truth before burying people and destroying their career for six years. But for Jackie, she's now a phoenix. We wish her well as she rises above the ashes and we will hold her hand so that she recovers and comes back to life. When Judge Kinoti got the evidence of the murder, he knew that it was not quote-unquote sexy enough to bring to court. So what did he do? He noticed that there was a girlfriend of the chief suspect who was involved and who would command attention and who would make headlines and who would sell a story that would last and capture the imaginations of Kenyans even if the evidence did not show that. In fact, I challenge you, John Allen, go read the Mazingira issue, which is a DCI magazine of November 2021. Judge Kinoti was interviewed in that magazine and was asked, what about prosecution? He said, I don't care about prosecution as long as people are arrested and charged in court and we get the headlines. That was Judge Kinoti I'm quoting directly. So this was Judge Kinoti in his element. He just chose to go for a, a person who would attract headlines and got a person whose career was rising, had just become a news anchor, and was a good bait to bring to court so that he would have headlines. How will we reverse, even for you as journalists, how will we reverse six years of negative headlines? In fact, the first year after the arrest, there were 14 headlines placing Jackie as a murderer. How, even if she came back to court and sued these guys, how is she going to reverse the negative publicity across the world that came out of it? It is this kind of nonsense that must be dealt with and George Kinoti must at one time stand on the dock and answer for those kind of things that he did. But the opposing view... As... Of course I will have to consult because it's Jackie on the dock. I will put my views to Jackie and I hope that she will come back to court and, and I, I, I really think I have... I, I will put a good case to her to come back here and ensure that this kind of thing doesn't happen to anyone else ever again. This is a travesty, it is a tragedy, and it has killed, it has slowed down the rise of a person whose career was at the top. But the opposing view here is that some people have questioned the freedom of the judiciary. Considering that all that has come into the public sphere, do you think that this case was truly free and fair to those who critic and say that this case was actually compromised in one way or another? I noticed your invite to me to get into the, uh, into the exchange of the executive, the judiciary and the legislature. I declined. Because from the beginning on this case, we said Jackie was innocent. We stood by it despite all the negativity. Today, we have vindicated that is, she's, not only, she's not only innocent, but that she was unfairly dragged to this court by George Kinoti and the investigators thereof. Thank you very much. <laughs>